Kita akan bincangkan example 12 Dan sebenarnya situasi example 12 sama dengan example 11 Cumanya kali ini dalam example 12 kita tambah satu force yang ini friction Okay so this is like example 11 except now we have friction uh, The external force is still the same 40 newton at an angle 30 degree and the box is still 10 kilogram apa yang kita tahu dekat sini ok selain daripada mass fp and theta 30 degree Kita ada satu info lagi yang ini coefficient of kinetic friction which is 0 0.0.3 Okay, so uh, saya dah identify forces dan uh, forces pada objek ini sama dengan example 1b So, let's draw a free body diagram FP Normal force Weight and static uh, kinetic frictional force and the angle here is 30 degree so what we want to calculate is acceleration so the object is pulled to the right so acceleration on a horizontal surface okay so the acceleration a is to the right uh, macam surface kita yang hori horizontal so, daripada sini kita nampak bahawa sum of sum of F X is equal to MA and sum of F is equal to 0 because A berada pada X direction dan objek ini tidak bergerak pada Y direction therefore uh, net force pada Y Adalah kok kosong So apa yang kita nak buat sekarang ni ialah kita nak masukkan force dalam table Dan kita nak resolve forces dalam table Dan kita tengok macam mana kita boleh selesaikan uh, uh, Untuk dapatkan acceleration So seperti biasa kita ada Force X component Dan juga Y component uh, Untuk force kita ada and normal force weight kinetic frictional force dan juga external force fp now we already know that the object is accelerating in x component so sum of fx is equal to ma and the object does not move in y component so sum of fy is equal to zero so let's look at normal force normal force is on the y component so n y is equals to n positive n but n x is zero manakala weight pula berada pada y component downwards so w y is equals to negative w but w x is equal to zero static frictional force is on the x axis pointed to the left so we have fk x is equals to negative fk and y component for fk is zero now we know the equation for static frictional force uh, kinetic frictional force is negative mu k times n the negative sign indicates that the static frictional force is pointed to the left and for the external force we can resolve it into x and y component okay so kalau kita tengok di sini fpx is adjacent so adjacent we use theta uh, cos theta so fpx is equals to fp cos theta 
and <coughs> in, a in a positive direction to the right manakala f p y is equals to f p sine theta because f p y is opposite to angle theta f p y this is angle theta it is opposite and f p y is upward so positive so look at our table and how we are, are we going to find uh, acceleration so kita nampak acceleration berada pada x component dan kita tengok dalam kita punya table apakah value yang kita tahu apa value yang kita tidak tahu now f p is a non value okay so tak perlulah saya warnakan so f p is a non value kita tahu angle theta is a non value mu k is a non value but if you look at this n is unknown value okay so yang ini tak ada bagi efek pun sebab value dia kau kosong so di sini ada dua unknown so bila ada dua unknown naturally kita perlukan dua equations uh, dan kita kena tengok lah daripada y com y component weight sama dengan mg ok so kedua-duanya non value fp kita tahu theta kita tahu Ah, jadi yang kita tak tahu pada Y adalah N Sahaja So maksudnya Kita kena cari dulu value N Pada Y component Dan kita kena masukkan pada Pada equation X component Mari kita lukiskan Y component terlebih dahulu Bagi Y component Sum of F Y is equals to 0 Haa uh, Sum of Fy is Ny plus Wy plus F, Fky plus Fpy is equals to 0. Now remember that Fky is 0 pada X component. So we only left with N minus Mg because negative. Plus F P sine theta is equals to zero. Now we substitute all the value and minus ten times nine point eight one plus forty sine thirty degree is equals to zero, and we have value of n. Which is equal to 78.1 Newton. So, kita ada value N. Now, from X component, we have FKX plus FPX is equal to MA. Okay, why? Because sum of fx is equals to ma nx and wx is 0 so saya boleh ignore dah kat situ now i have mu negative mu kn plus f p cos theta is equals to m times a so We can substitute the value. Fp is uh, mu mu is 0.3 times 78.1 that is n plus 40 cos 30 degree is equals to the mass is 10 times acceleration. Now we can solve this. Uh, equation to find acceleration in which acceleration A is equal to 1.12 meter per second square ok so soalan ni logik sebab uh, sebelum ni dalam example 12 kita tak ada friction uh, example 11 kita tak ada friction acceleration kita 3.46 bila ada friction dalam example 12 uh, acceleration kita ber 
berkurang So friction prevent the motion So the acceleration pun lebih kecil daripada example 11 So untuk video seterusnya kita akan bincangkan example 13 Yang melibatkan dua objek dan kali ini ada tali Tapi pergerakannya masih lagi dalam X komponen sahaja So terima kasih kerana uh, menyalin dan menonton Okay Assalamualaikum